Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Burlington, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse and I want to show you this vehicle. And I want to show you this beautiful 1956 Chevy here. Now this Chevy, it's got a little bit of history on it. It came out of California. It was, it was painted and, and restored down there. Did not have an interior in it. It had seats in it and stuff, but it needed a complete interior. Anyway, it came up here. One of my good friends, they bought it, and uh, it was in their collection. And, and it's a, basically an estate. Uh, I bought it from the estate. And anyway, you can just see how nice this thing is. It's, just, it's a really pretty car. Chrome is nice on it. The bird's nice on here. The whole thing looks good. You can look down the sides. It's got Boyd Coddington wheels on it. Has disc brakes on the front. They're power disc brakes on the front with, the, with drums on the rear. And you can just see down the sides of this thing. Look down the sides, isn't that? See how smooth and straight it is? They did a nice job on this thing. It's, uh, it's well done. You gotta go in here and take a look at the interior on here. So it needed carpets, headliner, door panels, and all that in the seats. So we had it all done in uh, this orange and white to match with the uh, exterior there. And of course, you can see the dash is, was already in the, uh, uh, painted in there, in, in the orange. See the headliner there? It's all, all looks good. Now this is the Vintag right here on here. The other thing I like about this car is the doors. I actually I push that harder than I needed to. They close both sides are that way. They close very, very well. So he, uh, when he did the upholstery on the front, he did the upholstery back here too. So this is redone. It's got a pad in there. Stuff's all painted. Also, it's tubbed. As you can see here on both sides. So they got put big tires in the back of this thing. It, uh, and the battery is right there. And you can just see it's clean underneath here. I mean, they did a nice job on this thing. And I did, again, down the sides, look down the sides of this, you can just see how nice and straight it is. It looks good. The paint on top looks good. The whole thing looks really good. And again, this uh, side the same way, you can just see it's clean and nice. And of course, it really looks good in this orange, I believe. That's what I think. I think it looks really good. It's a sharp looking car. This got a 350 Chevy in it with a turbo 400 on it, if I remember right. Closes good. In fact, I, you know, I mean, it just gives you, hardly takes anything to close the door on it. So everything looks good, the windshield, everything, glass is all good. This'll make you a really nice driving car. I mean, Wait till you watch the uh, trip down the road on it. This was the first time I saw it in a trailer in Anacortes. And I knew I wanted the car after looking at it. I knew it needed an interior. And uh, so we had to have the interior installed. And I want to tell you, it's a good looking car. It's worked out very well. I don't believe they drove it very much at all before I bought it. We're going to open up the hood here for you so you can take a look at this 350 Chevy engine in here. And you can see we got a right off aluminum radiator right here. It all looks good. And look down here on the sides down here. You can see that it's got headers on there. They, I mean, it's a good looking car. It's not real fancy on the uh, firewall back there, but it's clean. Here's your power booster setup right there. And it's got a split. Man of, or master cylinder on there and again you got to take a look at these headers on this side they all look 
all looks good and everything. Engine down in there, no power steering. So just so you know, it's something you could add pretty easily to this thing. But I think you'll like this car. It's a, it's a, it's a fun driving car. So Andrew's going to start it up right now for us. And we're going to show you the radio working. It's got big speakers back there. Heater work. I can feel heat coming out of it. I can feel air coming. And these gauges right here, you got oil and what do you got? Oil and Temp. temperature gauge. You can see the temperature gauge is going up a little bit. And of course, we got the big tack on here. The gas gauge works. Amp gauge works. The gas gauge, the lighter oh, works. Oh, look at the lighter works good. So, the so wipers, we don't have wipers. Wipe, no wiper motor on here at all. So, there's no way to get the wipers working. In fact, most guys that take those off, why, why they didn't, I don't know. But it doesn't have them on there. You can see that it's got a B&M shifter in here, and it works just fine. Of course, you can see we got new carpets and all that stuff, door panels. This window here, and you can see it works it's a little stiff, not bad though. And that window over there, that one works good. Yep. Hey, that one done. It's not stiff at all. No, the vent window works there. All that stuff too. I didn't try this vent window. Oh, there it goes. So it works. Anyway, just wanted to see how the interior is working. Let's do the lights, headlights. High beam, low beam, turn signals. Also, the horn does not do anything. In fact, it doesn't have a horn on here, but we tried, we tried a uh, horn and the wiring doesn't work for it. Okay, let's see the taillights, brake lights, turn signals. Oh, well, you can see that all works. The backup lights do not work at all. They're not, this course has got a different transmission and never hooked up. The underside of this 56 Chevy, nothing a whole lot to show you. It's pretty clean under here. It's got dual exhaust, chrome tips on the end here. These rear quarters are in good shape. Something going on with this inner fender and I don't know why they did that, but they put that insulation foam up there and I don't see any reason for it. It might be just to go around that trim. I don't know what the reasoning for that is, but the other side looks just fine. I don't see anything in the way of rust or anything around there. Oh, well, they did it on this side too. Maybe that's when they chopped the, uh, they tub this thing a little bit. See, there's that where it turns color right there. That's where the tub begins. Cause it's, these tires are pretty wide. It's not, they're not huge, but, uh, they actually have a lot of space. It might have had a little bit bigger tire on at one time. I don't know if this thing was drag raced at one time. Why they put these trailing arms on here, but maybe that, you know, just to get better traction and have more uh, support for the rear end. But uh, hard to say. Anyway, uh, nice cover on the uh, differential there. Lots of rubber on all four tires. All the metal looks good under here. Again, dual exhaust, dual mufflers, got the cross pipe there. Frame looks good and straight. So there's that spray foam insulation. I don't know why they did that. That could probably be cut out. I don't know if it serves any purpose. But anyway, here's the driver's side rocker panel. Some of the stuff looks a little questionable to me. It's hard to tell. 
but the worst of it is probably right in here. It looks like it's kind of rusted out a little bit, just chunked out, and they painted over it over the years. I mean, that's not undercooked because it's solid it's metal. So that's the worst spot in it that I've seen. I mean, the rocker panels are in good shape. All the vents are there. So it might have had a little bit of moisture in the carpet or something over the years and just corroded it because look at that. All, all the vents are there. There's no corrosion in the rocker panels. Same thing on this side. I didn't see anything questionable on this side at all. I mean, the rocker's all good. The vents are all there and then all the metal underneath here looks good. And the rest of the floor pans look pretty good too. Up front here, when we get up to the transmission though, they cut all of that out probably just to access it and you know, they can work at it from the top. And anyway, that, that's a lot of times why that gets cut out. You can see that seam there that they, right around there, it's all from, probably from the transmission. Cause it's not a place where they rust. I assume that's just what they did when they put this engine and tranny in this car. But there's a the bottom of the turbo three, or excuse me, it's a 400. There's that cross pipe for the exhaust. There's the bottom of the 350 Chevy. And we just went through the front end of this thing pretty heavily. So a lot of this stuff's all new. Um, you know, all the rubber and everything, it's all fresh. So this thing drives really nice now. It's got disc brakes in the front. And again, lots of rubber. Fenders here on this on the front of this car. They're all in good shape. This is a fun car to drive. It's not a showpiece, but uh, it's a nice driver. I mean, a fun driver, really. 350's got a lot of horsepower. It's, I think it's a late model one. It's got the studs coming through the middle of the rocker panels, so or rocker covers, I should say. So I don't know if that's a 90s. A newer engine, I think that's what that is. Don't quote me. Anyway, just trying to show you another view of walking backward. Stepping on it on this thing. It runs quite well. You'll have fun driving it. We're going to take it down I 5 southbound. So you can see this thing run and drive down the freeway. Tracks good? No, I mean, hands off the wheel, we're doing 70 miles an hour. 
Well, there's Gregor's right there. We're going by. Andrew likes to come into this corner faster than I like him to, but that's just me. It, we're doing we're doing well, what 70 there. I slowed now down. Now we're down faster. to now we're <laughs> down to 20 in <laughs> short distance, but it it drives good. And it steers good. Yeah, it's easy. It, I mean, it's barely working to turn this corner. Look at there, one figure. <laughs> yeah, it's easy to steer. is going to let me out here and we're going to take a couple of quick passes with it. If you want a really nice 56 Chevrolet, give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you.